Oh god. <laughs> as soon as I sit down, all these noises happen. Airplanes fly over, trash trucks come by, people are sawing things in the background. But welcome to a new video. Today I have a lot of energy. That's not what you came for the video for. I wanted to make this video for you guys today because there is an updated list of foods that are vegan that you wouldn't expect to be vegan originally. These are all sorts of different ranges, junk foods, cereals, snacks, all sorts of different things, but I'm going to assume that a lot of our junk food vegan friends are gonna be pretty happy with this one. Now I'm gonna bet you're gonna be hard pressed to not like at least one of these 30 things, so stick around. We're gonna blast right on through this, but stick around to the very end because I have a super uber amazing vegan trick that can show you how to find out if any product is vegan within three seconds of looking at the back of the ingredient list. Let's jump into this. The first one is an airplane going over head. Cool. All right, starting with a cereal that almost everybody likes, Captain Crunch Peanut Butter Crunch, completely vegan, believe it or not. Number two, and I know there's gonna be health food vegans who are like, don't have energy drinks, which I don't have energy drinks, but a lot of people do. Second one is Red Bull. Red Bull is completely vegan, believe it or not. Holy Lord, now there is a guy blow, <laughs> blow drying his front driveway. That's not what it is, blow drying, leaf blowing. Number three on this list is Lay's barbecue potato chips, which are fire. AF. Number five is Ritz whole wheat crackers. These, I you probably thought were vegan, but some people don't think they're vegan and they're really good, really good snack. Gosh, all right, let's move so we can get out of this, guys audio range. Why you do this, bro? All right, let's move the camera. Okay, we've moved positions. Let's pray to the vegan gods. There's no more noises. Shall we proceed? Number five is Jolly Ranchers hard candies, which I actually never eat because I always feel like I'm gonna rip a whole molar out. Do you guys feel the same way? I never eat these. Number six is Kraft's Italian creamy salad dressing. And the part that throws people off is the creamy, but it's actually vegan, believe it or not. Now number seven is here for you junk food vegans who love your vegan ice cream, Ben and Jerry's and whatnot. Hershey's chocolate syrup, completely vegan. Yeah, go get it. Sonia Elsie. Number eight is the Pillsbury Doughboys Crescent Rolls, which are really bomb if you wrap like a little vegan hot dog sausage thing in the middle of them and then bake it. It's fire, it's good. And now for all you who love your hot cocoa hot chocolates, number nine is Ghirardelli's Hot Cocoa. It comes in a few different flavors, so there's the chocolate caramel, the chocolate mocha, and the double chocolate. Those are all vegan, go get it. Get it, sister. It's Christmas, go. I think we're on number 10. I'm gonna stop numbering them, because I think I, I don't know what we're on. Sorry. The next one is probably the best one on this entire list. I wanted to save it a little bit in there, but it is Olive Garden's breadsticks. Believe it or not, the butter that they use on it is a soybean oil butter. It is not an actual butter butter with dairy butter. So yeah, eat your heart out because I mean, that's the best thing at Olive Garden, for real. All the other stuff they serve is half as good. It hails in comparison to the breadsticks. So go, now, go, fire. Okay, so back to candy, airheads, Believe it or not, I don't know if anybody still eats those, but when I was a little kid, I used to eat those like freaking candy. It is, it's can, it is candy. Something else that I used to eat like it was candy when I was a little kid, what the f am I saying? Another thing that I used to eat like crazy when I was a little kid was Big League's bubblegum chew gum. I used to like pack it in my lip like it was tobacco, like a little weirdo, because that's what you see on the uh, TV and whatnot, right? Which leads us into the next, next one, which is Hubba Bubba bubblegum chew, which is also vegan. <laughs> Next up, we have Fruit by the Foot, which I used to eat a lot when I was a little kid. I haven't had one of those in a decade, maybe multiple decades, I don't know. This next one, which is the second best thing on this entire list, right after the breadsticks, is Girl Scout Thin Mint Cookies. Yep, I did not believe this at first, had to look it up myself. Completely vegan and really good. We'll get like 20 boxes. All right, so we gotta put some staples in there, right? So Pringles, out of the Pringles, these flavors are vegan, which is the original, the barbecue, the salsa tortilla fiery, sweet barbecue, tangy buffalo wing, lightly salted, and original reduced fat Pringles. I haven't even heard of half those flavors. So yeah, go get yourself some Pringles if you're feeling junk foodie. And since we're on the topic of chips, Doritos have the spicy sweet chili flavor, which maybe you've heard of before, but actually also the Blaze flavor is completely vegan. For those of you who are looking for a pre-made meal when you're out and looking at fast food options, Taco Bell, of course, everybody knows the bean burrito. You take off the cheese off the bean burrito and you got all that, it's completely vegan. But also did you know that their cinnamon twists are completely vegan as well? 
they're really tasty. Then of course, there is Chipotle, which I don't think I'm informing anybody on this, but Chipotle has vegan options. If you're you know, newly vegan and you didn't know that, you can go and get sofritas, or you can skip the sofritas and just stick with the rice and beans and get the veggie option, which gives you free guacamole. But a little extra secret tip, double wrap that BO, and you can ask as many you know, servings of rice and beans as you want, and it's completely free. So get it double wrapped, double rice, double beans, sofritas. Next is an OG candy. I don't even know if a lot of people know what this is anymore, but Dots? Do you know, do you know what Dots are? Did you guys ever eat Dots? I love Dots, they're really, really good. Comment below if you know what dots are. I feel like nobody even knows what the hell dots are. Which brings me to the next candy, which is my all time favorite candy of all time, is Sour Patch Kids. I love these bad boys. You can get them in small, you can get them in gigantic, but they are basically at every movie theater ever, which is really nice, and they are completely vegan. Now this one, I know a lot of you guys have heard before, but man, I'm gonna throw it in there anyways because I feel like a lot of new vegans might not know this. Oreos are completely vegan, but they did put out a statement saying that if you are allergic to milk, you may wanna stay away from Oreos because sometimes they have some cross-contamination with the factories that they use, and some dairy might float out in the air and land in the conveyor belt where the Oreos are. Another ode to my childhood is the chocolate chip Teddy Grahams. They're also really vegan. They're completely vegan. <laughs> this next one I have never seen. I didn't even know that they had these, but I feel like I should throw it in here because everybody has a Whole Foods. So Whole Foods has organic chocolate truffles that are vegan. Mm, truffles. Another candy that you can get basically every single movie theater is Twizzlers, and those are also completely vegan. Next up after that is Nutter Butters, which are delicious with a big old glass of soy milk on the side. Now this next one, I never really ate these in the first place, but I feel like I should include this in the list just because it's kind of mind-blowing in the first place. So this is the McCormick's Bacon Bits Bacon pieces. So you know when you like shake the little bacon little bits on top of like uh, like baked potatoes and stuff like that? Believe it or not, those are actually textured soy protein and that's completely vegan. Coming down to the end of this list, I'm sorry, but if you never had these when you were a child, you had a shitty childhood. These are the super pretzel soft pretzels. These are the ones that come in the freezer section. You microwave them. They're bomb AF. A little pro tip, if you take just a little vegan cheese and add just a tiny bit of some nut milk and microwave it, you have a nacho cheese sauce and you've got yourself a fantastic junk food sundae. Where are all these airplanes coming from? Throwing it way back to the beginning of the video when I said Red Bulls are vegan, actually, the original flavor of Monsters are vegan as well. Do you guys drink energy drinks? I'd be curious to know. If you do, leave a comment. Bringing it to number 30, the very end of this list, this is a fantastic potato chip. This is the Kettle brand potato chips. They have a couple flavors that are vegan, which are maple bacon, sea salt, and sriracha flavors, and they are bomb son. So that brings us to the end of this video. I was going to go and buy all these things and then show you each one of them as I went, but then I realized this would have cost like $280 and there's no way I would have eaten all this junk food. But I want to make this video for you guys. I would love to make more parts to it because there are tons more things that are surprisingly vegan that you wouldn't expect. I would love for you to leave a comment below saying your favorite surprise or accidentally vegan snack or junk food or microwave thing or just really anything that you wouldn't expect to be vegan. Now, for those of you who came to the end of the video for my special tip to find out how you can find if a food is vegan within two seconds of turning it around on the back. In America at least, on the back of the ingredient list, at the end there's a bold section that says contains. And in that contains section, in bold, it has to list all the allergens for people who have allergies. So it'll be wheat, soy, milk, nuts, and I believe that's it. So you do have to check for meats. You do have to check for sneaky things because sometimes they don't always include it in the allergens thing. But for the most part, you can just quickly look back there and it'll say contains eggs or it contains milk or contains, you know, right? And then you're just like, throwing it away, boom. I don't even need to read the rest of the ingredients. I already know it has milk in it. Let's move it on. Today's video was a struggle. I feel like everybody was trying to make noise at me, man. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, I love it. Give it a big old thumbs up. I got a lot of new videos coming next week, so I'm excited to show you guys those. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you let me know what you thought in the comments below. Tell me your favorite thing out of these 30 things that you like to eat that's vegan. And subscribe if you are not a subscriber already. Team Beyond the Week. T.T. <laughs> Lift heavy or die Myron, motherfucker. Team Beyond the Week. T.T. Lift heavy or die Myron.